Hello everyone! Um, today's video is going to be a bit different than the usual videos I do. It is my first Procreate tutorial um, using my iPad and this is a tutorial to show you how you can actually make patterns in Procreate. I make patterns all the time for my Etsy shop and I found that the easiest and quickest way for me to do this was in Procreate. This pattern right here as my uh, screensaver is actually one of the patterns that I made using Procreate. So it's very easy to make um, patterns in Procreate and I'm going to show you how. So what I do is I start with a new canvas and I actually have one sized for the Erin Condren vertical boxes right here and that is 28 50 pixels by 3600 and so I go ahead and I click on that and this is going to be the exact size of the Aaron Condren vertical boxes is and and that is what I make patterns for is to make stickers for my shop so I start with this canvas and then I go ahead and I insert I click up here and image and I add whoops not file I click insert a photo and then I go to the photo that I want to insert, which is, I'm just going to use the cats, make a cat one. Down here, um, you need to make sure that it is on magnetic and not freeform, because if you do freeform, then the thing gets a little too crazy. Whereas if you do magnetic, it'll be much more exact for you. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, arranging my cats how I want them to be. And then I'm going to come over to my layers, since each of the different artworks is on a different layer, I'm going to put them all on the same layer by merging them down. And then I'm going to take three fingers, I'm going to swipe and click copy and paste. And then I'm going to drag it over to where I want it, so I'm going to drag it out there. And then I'm going to repeat that process until I fill the canvas with the same pattern. If you're not, if you don't like the way it's turning out, you can always adjust, you can tweak it and make it just how you want it. It's what I love about Procreate. Oops. I like to make sure that it's nice and full and that there isn't too much blank space or white space on the canvas just to make sure that I'm making it as full as I can okay and then if you wanted to stop here you could because that it's a pretty uh, decent pattern and it looks really nice. If you wanted to make it a little fancier, you could. You can come down here and you can change the background color to whatever you want it to be. Um, you can change it fine. I'm going to keep it white. But what I'm going to do is make it a little fancier. I'm going to create a new layer and put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to take, I'm using a round brush. And I'm going to go ahead and paint. the background and I'm going to change the color oops making it a gradient effect And there you have a different take on a pattern. You can do endless things uh, with the background as well. Um, I'm going to show you a few other of the patterns. That I'm going to show you a few more of the patterns I've made using this method. This is a nice floral one I've made. Um, some vintage, a vintage collection I did. 
I have my Peter Pan collection. You can also just stage a few pieces of artwork for if you're making Erin Condren boxes. Um, I do that a lot too. These, these are my Peter Pan patterns. I have Avatar patterns uh, for the world of Pandora. Sleeping Beauty patterns. And then I have... These are just all the recent ones that I've made using this method, and I think they all turned out really, really cute, really, really nice. This isn't the most ideal and perfect way to make your patterns, like they're not going to be PDFs or anything like that, but it is a quick and easy way to make really, really cute patterns, and for the reason that I need my patterns, this I just find is the easiest way, the nicest way, and it's never let me down. Um, so yeah, if you found this video helpful or useful at all, um, just let me know. I really hope it did help some of you out. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!